Hey guys, French Nemesis. So I'm going to show you kind of like how I made my own wig where it kind of looks like the river monster style where it's like the color on top, then a color in the middle, and then another color on the bottom. Okay, so this is what I did. I'm using, of course, blue and black, my favorite colors. Okay, but I'm going to be using my Typhoon Cobalt wig that I did buy from Miss Demented. And, of course, a black wig that I did purchase off of eBay after we found the whole thing out so yeah so I'm gonna be using those and yeah I'm gonna show you how I made it and I only I'm gonna like I'm not gonna actually sew on the video because then it would take literally forever but yeah I'm gonna show you what I did okay so basically this is what it's gonna look like there we go let me turn it Okay, it's gonna have like the blue in the middle and then or I'm sorry, the black in the middle and then blue on the bottom towards the end and of course on the top. Okay, right up here. Okay. So this is kind of what I did right there. Okay, so you kind of get the hint of what's gonna be happening. Okay, and now you're probably curious what that piece is. Okay, let me flatten that out. Okay. Basically, I got a black wig. Ah, hold on. Move that over to the side. We're going to be using those to show. But basically, I bought a black wig and I cut it up. Okay. Hold on, let me get that. So, here's the bottom of it. Okay. And there's where the adjustable straps go in. Okay. And here's the top of it. Okay. Right here as you can see. So here's the bottom and the top. Okay, first I was making a two-tone wig. So I was cutting off the top part so I can use it to put on top of another color. And I cut this part off first right here. And then I was like, eh, it's still too long. So then that extra piece that is up here goes in the middle in between these two right here. Okay, so that was just the extra that I cut off right there. Okay, and as you can see, let me undo it right here real quick. It's like three rows of west, and it's from where the strap was to and up. Okay, so just three rows, so that's what I did right there. Okay, and I'm going to be putting that on the wig right there. Okay, so yeah, that's what that is. Okay, so what's pretty cool is then you can use this bottom piece, then of course cut the in between here, right in there, and then use the black as like extensions or other colors or other types. Or of course you can again cut another row out of here and then apply it to another color wig or anything else basically. So this is just extra stuff you can use to make your wigs have more color or anything in there actually okay and then of course you got the top part which you can put on top of the wig to make it that two-tone color wig look okay so there you go there's that so anyways back to what we were doing so we're gonna be making this so first I'm gonna like safety pin everywhere where I would sew just so you guys can see and get the hint and then I'm going to apply the blue hair down just so you can see what it looks like okay so yeah, so let me go ahead and do that really, really quick. Okay. I only have two pins on me, but I would normally be safety pinning it a whole lot more else everywhere else. Okay, so now I'm going to like show you and then point out where I would be sewing on the wig. Okay, so first this half part of blue that's on top is all the shorter length hairs except for the black streak that's right there because this is my cobalt wig so it has the black streaks on it 
But yeah, this is where it starts getting short right here. And then you have like a median length, which ends like around here somewhere. And then you have, of course, your long length right there. Okay? So I just basically found where the short length hair was. And then I lifted up all the way around the edge. And I just like pinned it right there. Okay, so basically where I would be sewing, starting on the front, of course I would sew this piece up there, okay, then I would do another stitch right here where this pin is, then maybe another one, like two down, so like one, skip one, then do another one. If you want to like make it secure and not universal, then you can of course do another one on everywhere the little straps are, I guess you can say. One right there, so then of course put one in the middle, so right there. Then turn it all the way around. Then I would put one here. So basically there. Then there. Then where that safety pin is right there. And then wrapping it all the way around. And then pinning this part there and stitching it right there. Okay? So it would be basically like that. Okay? So now I'm going to take the hair down and kind of gently comb it out so I don't rip anything. Just so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay. Where am I? And we are done. Okay, so here is kind of what it looks like from the side. Okay, Here, let me scoot back. Okay, so the top and then it fades down into a blue black and then black then to blue. Okay, so it almost kind of looks like it has like blue tips sort of, but it's two different wigs. Okay, but yeah, that's how that kind of came out. And then let me show you the front. Okay, and I also have like the black in there and the bangs. Okay, see there they are right there. So yeah, if you want to add some more since you have your extra pieces over here. So you can just add some extra pieces and of course cut it to trim in the bangs. Okay, then turn to the other side. So it's shorter. And then it goes down. So I think this is kind of cool. Like I didn't really mean to do that. But it's kind of cool because then it's like blue stripes in the black to accent it more. And then turns, goes all the way down to, there we go. And then goes all the way down to the black here. And then of course the back. Voila. So if you want, you can, I guess, remove these hairs too. And like hide them and put the black over those too. But I kind of like it like that because it looks more natural looking, I guess you can say. So yeah, there we go. So that's kind of like my river monster kind of look with like the different colors added and how I did that. So yeah, hope you guys do like it. And if you guys do it, I would really like to see your colors and how you came up with it, if you, especially if you do different colors than what I did. Okay, so yeah, I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys kind of understand how I did that, and have a great day. Bye.